Walking around the shop again earlier I was, earlier on I was, and I found these. These are digestive, uh, McVitie's Digestive Thins. They're a, uh, oh, well, I've got my glasses on, have I? Dark chocolate. Uh, delightful, delicate, digestive, smothered in dark chocolate. It's got all the normal gubbins on. They're a 180 gram box. And um, I do like a biscuit. Me and the doodle used to, when I used to work late, I used to probably eat a box of biscuits and um, uh, a packet of biscuits. Didn't we, dog? Yeah. And um, yeah, they're all right. They were nice. I used to have one with me coffee and uh, it was great. And uh, I stopped doing it because I got fat. And uh, yeah, I stopped doing that. But uh, like I said, I walk around the shop and I seen these digestive thins and the new. So with me trying to uh, bring uh, new stuff out to people that might not see these kind of things or hear of them or whatever, because let's face it, if you've got a Sky or whatever now and the adverts come on, the first thing you do is go and you whiz through them, don't you? You're never watching an advert. Even when you're watching YouTube adverts, uh, YouTube things, as soon as that five second thing comes up, you click it and it's gone. Nobody wants it. So. It's in a it's in a box. There, it's a nice. Um, it's in a cardboard box. That's in a cardboard box. That's uh, in a packet, which is good because the last thing you want is a broken biscuit. And with these being thins, they would break quite easily. I would have thought. So it's got a nice um, a nice box. Nice like a shock absorbing box. It's padded at either ends, or there's a gap at either end. So if you do drop them, uh, you know they're all right. So how many's in there? Can't see. I ain't got my glasses on. They are fair. I don't know. Don't know how many's in here. But that's what they look like, folks. They're all packed in. Um, they're a little bit like after eights kind of thing without the packet. They're about that size. Um, it is basically just a thin biscuit. Uh, it's got uh, chocolate on one side and on the other it's got the Vitti's logo. Don't know if you can see that, folks. Might be able to. Anyway, it's got the McVitie's logo. It's a dark chocolate, and it smells just like a McVitie's dark chocolate. You bite into it. Um. Well. You bite into it and um, well, yes, you get the taste of the chocolate. Yes, you've got the biscuit, but they're not that good. You dip that in your tea and it's gone. In fact, why make a thin biscuit? What? What's all that about? Now, now thinking about it, right? Why would you make a thin biscuit? You can't put it in your tea. It's going to go. It's going to go. I mean, digestives, I've got a bit of soaking power. But why make a thin biscuit? Do you think... Is it something to do with the day and age of people trying to be thin or slim or healthy? And they think, well, if it's a thin biscuit, it don't count so much. Wrong. It counts. I would say nine times out of 10, the only way you're gonna lose weight is to stop shoveling this um, this kind of stuff in your gob and do more exercise. Eat less, move more. Thin biscuits don't count as eating less because what you do is you eat a whole packet. So, yes, you can taste the chocolate. Yes, you can taste the biscuit. But will I be buying them again? No, I won't. I won't be buying them again. Sorry, folks, you might like a diet. If I'm going to buy a digestive biscuit, 
I'm gonna buy a biscuit, not wafer thin. It's like it, it was like a cheddar, a cheddar biscuit, biscuit. That size, no, shan't bother. Um, might take them work for the lads. They'll soon demolish them. Uh, okay, folks, laters.